Hey guys, Jamie Larson here. Um, now, one question I keep getting asked is um, about creatine and how it works. Now, <clears throat> creatine helps with uh, ATP. So ATP is anadine triphosphate. So it's basically, um, how do I explain it? It's like uh, your energy stores. So there's three phosphates, so triphosphate, so there's three of them. So when you work out, it becomes a diphosphate, ADP, and then tri, uh, diphosphate. Now, what creatine does is it donates one of, um, to one of those phosphates to create a triphosphate again, which is uh, giving you extra energy in that, um, the short burst movements and um, you're giving you energy in the gym or in the uh, fitness um on whatever goal you're trying to achieve. Now, uh, one thing that keeps coming out is um, cycling creatine. Now, I'm a firm believer in um, you can take creatine all year round. Um, I used to give into the thing of cycling it um, a month on, month off sort of thing. But when you think about it, uh, creatine is actually in your food that you eat. Um, you get but roughly, I think it is, doing one to three grams of um, creatine a day through your food. So um, it is perfectly um, good to take all year round in, in safe doses. So what I recommend is having between five and ten grams of creatine. Uh, that you can, I think you can have more, um, but that's a pretty safe dosage that actually works. So... Yeah, five or ten grams of creatine. Now, when do you take it? Another thing that's come out is you need to take it um, before and after your workout. Now, it doesn't matter when you take it because, say, if you take it at night, that creatine is going to stay in your system until you use it, say, if you train in the morning the next day. So I'd recommend just taking it whenever it fits you. So if you take it at eight o'clock at night, um, take it at eight o'clock at night um, for however long you're gonna use it. So you, you just wanna keep consistent with the time and um, keep taking it at the same time every single day. <clears throat> if you don't hit that eight o'clock mark, then take it when you remember it. Um, yeah, it, the other thing too uh, with creatine is um, it it doesn't work immediately straight away like caffeine does. So what it will do is actually work your way into your system. So it may take um, between one one and one or two weeks to actually work through your system for it to be effective. Um, and then then you start seeing um, the effects of it. Now the other thing too is um, yes, it can cause. Uh, a lot of water retention or a little bit of water retention so what I'm trying at the moment is I actually found I had um, water retention when I was taking creatine uh, I was unsure if that was the diet I was on the eating plan I was on or if it was creatine so at the moment I am um, have changed my um, eating plan a little bit so I've lowered my carbs and up my fats which seems to work for me um, while I'm in a bulking phase and I haven't seemed to uh, have any water bloating, which is good um, for um, the past couple of weeks. So I, I don't think it causes a lot of water. Um, it can, if people say it can cause a lot of uh, water retention, and I think that comes down to your diet alone. So I hope that um, helps with uh, helps with the information that you've been wanting to know about creatine. So thanks for watching guys, um, take care.